Hi y'all, Jordan Chalice here at Joan Co. Realty Group and today I am bringing you a brand new video. Today's video is how we at Joan Co. Jordan <laughs> craft your winning offer. Uh, number one, the offer starts before we leave the showing. So I will start communication with the listing agent before we even leave the home. So the second I know you want that home, I start communicating with them. Whether it's at the showing, after the showing, before the showing, I open communication up as soon as possible to just kind of get my foot in the door, learn as much information as possible, hopefully before they have the multiple offers. And that is the number one step for writing a really strong offer. Number two, your first offer needs to be your strongest offer. Like there's no, well, if they come back to us, we'll just raise our offer. No, most of the time you're only given one chance. So with most really solid sellers, you are given one chance to make your first offer your strongest. Number three, you need to have a high option period dollar amount and or low days on market. So obviously both having both of these correct crafts a better offer than not having one or both. Number four, I ask you to cover the cost of the owner's title policy, which is about 1%. And I request that you do not ask for a home warranty. So not asking for a home warranty, not asking for title policy credit, not asking for any closing cost credits, just trying to keep as much money as possible in their pocket will help you craft a winning offer. Number five, you need, I recommend you waiving your right to terminate if the house doesn't appraise, if you can't afford it. Obviously, I will never walk you down a path doing something you can't afford or you don't want to do, but almost every single offer I'm writing right now is waiving the right to terminate if the home doesn't appraise. Number six, um, the secret sauce is in the very clean, complete offers that I type up, like physically, like clean offers without typos. And then, um, and the email that I send, those are kind of like my secret sauces. I have a really good email that goes along with the offer. Every single document's there, every single thing's filled out. That is kind of my secret sauce that I'm really proud of, something I've crafted over the years. Um, that I think is perfect. So number seven, it helps that I am very active in the market. So I have a lot of relationships with listing agents and um, be, having a good relationship with that listing agent is a really good asset. Uh, number eight, using a local lender for your pre-approval and financing is huge. It goes really far. It's one of the most important things you can do is using a local lender. And I feel like I missed something, but I have on here, um, bonus. <laughs> if you reassure them that you will not ask for any minor repairs or anything aesthetic, then that gives them a little bit of peace of mind. So I have written an offer before where I said that we're not going to ask for any repairs. If you want to have more of a competitive edge, like the most competitive edge, you can ask for no option period. That's huge. And then if you, there's a car driving by. <laughs> If you are a cash buyer that obviously not everyone's capable of doing that, but those offers are always going to be picked if one exists and if they're at the right price, um, faster close dates are huge. So I, I haven't had any offers lately accepted that are requesting more than 30 days. So don't start looking unless you're ready to buy. Those are, I think all the ways that I craft really great winning offers, obviously, the more you offer, the better the chance of your offer being accepted. You have to have cash in the bank to cover if it doesn't appraise. And then almost always offers have to be asking price or above. So um, offers are, homes are going between ten and $30,000 over asking price and sometimes even more. So like my market is only calling for 10 to 30, but I know that homes have sold for fifty to a hundred thousand dollars over asking price depending on what area you're in so those are all the ways i at george lacy at joe and co craft a winning offer for you to win a house so you don't have to look at the homes in person it's most of the times the sellers don't know that you haven't looked at the house if you looked at it virtually most of my buyers right now are buying virtually and most of the time the sellers don't know about that, but everything has worked out grand. I take really good high definition videos and send them to the potential buyer via a private YouTube link. 
and everything has worked out so far <laughs> really really awesome so again i'm jordan chalisa with joe and co realty group i specialize in helping clients relocate families and individuals relocate to the houston suburbs if you are looking to relocate please reach out to me i would love to speak with you i would love to learn your story see how i can help you i would love to help you find the perfect neighborhood for y'all to plant roots in i'm going to have a couple videos up here in a second and then down below there is a ton of information i have ebooks i have blogs i have my website i have links to different playlists there is so much down below feel free to hang out on the channel or my blog or my search website ask any questions i love answering questions there is a link down below to email me and a link down below to schedule a call with me and even a link to fill out a questionnaire so i hope you all have a fantastic day i look forward to hearing from you i'll talk to you soon bye